Hey guys, what's up? It's great. How's everybody doing t today? Um, this is a day of discussing why I always say, um, the Dragon Ball franchise is like the number one anime franchise in the world now. I know some, some of you are going to, I've been getting annoyed that I always say that, Dra that Dragon Ball is number one above everything else. And again, like I always say, that's just my opinion. You guys are free to think of, think whatever you wish of that, but like everybody else, I'm just here to get, get my opinion and hope other people listen. So let me explain why, okay? Um, first of all, you guys have to remember that. Um, the creators of Naruto, Bleach, Fairy Tale, and, well, really, probably every other major anime that's ever been turned, turned into a manga or turned into anime. Um, those writers were inspired by Akira, by Akira's work on Dragon Ball Z. And, uh, just because, really, the characters are so relatable, like each situation, even, now this is more towards the realm of Dragon Ball, but mo most situations that each character finds him, him or herself in, uh, is relatable. When Tien was struggling to decide whether he should betray Master Shin, or whatever the current human's name is, um, that that was a personal internal conflict decision that he had to deal with. Um, when when uh, Goku felt that he had to try and save Boa from or bring Boa back because of what mercenary mercenary did to him, that was a human situation. And when Yamcha couldn't find the balls to tell Boma that he was head over heels in love with her ass, that was a human situation. So I, I just love how human the show can be at times. Um, not to mention, like I always say, uh, that, that was the show that really always gave me something to look forward to coming up from school every day and seeing on Tsunami. Like, for me, you know, for a lot of people, Dragon Ball, the franchise in general, was a way to basically maybe escape some of your own issues, personal or not. Um, now as far as the action, that's where Z evolved into our own new category, but again, to a degree, and Dragon Ball Super really pulls on this. Some of the comedy was still there. Um, and not to mention just the lessons that Akira tried to show us with each situation he put the characters in. Like, not to mention just the overall emotion you get when you, well, when you see Goku die or Goku had to leave for other one with the Baba again, like, I know you can get emotionally connected with anything, but for me in particular, when I see that, that's where it gets my, uh, tears flowing a bit. Um, and just overall, I think it's truly one of the, uh, best stories ever written. So, just keep those facts in mind if you guys would. And I mean, again, you are entitled to your own opinion, but that is why I say Dragon Ball will always be number one in my eyes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and keep on rocking, yeah.